Welcome, welcome one and all. I love science. I may not be a witch, but here I am. I'm Science Witch, and today I want to do a particular video about something that I see on Tumblr all the time. I basically want to touch base on basically fandom wars, ship wars, and just general hate all around. And I don't want this to be the kind of video that's like, oh, just don't let it bother you and blah blah blah. No, because I hear that enough, and what I want to do is I want to sort of reiterate the kind of effects it can have on people and the um the lesser effects to the more severe effects but it's it's just really it's really a big thing and it just i hear about it all the time and i see things about it and it's and i mean just fandoms in general have gotten bad reputations like certain fandoms have gotten bad reputations just because of different wars and all these crazy things that some of the fans do like i mean the homestuck fandom is known is recognized as trash literally in the homestuck fandom we accept the fact that we are garbage and it, it shouldn't have ever gotten to that like look i don't really know what happened i'm relatively <laughs> that is a lot i'm gonna have to cut out i i personally when i'm in fandoms and i see these different fandoms getting shit on constantly by other fandoms and just people who aren't in fa these fandoms it's it's a little off-putting like it kind of puts a bad reputation on everyone which is it's not the case and unfortunately there are certain people who ruin it for everyone and it sucks a lot but we can't we can't help it we can't help what these people do and it's just something we got to learn to live with. Let's just start with ship hate, which is probably one of the things I've seen the most in the subcategories of hate in fandoms. It's like shipping wars and everything. They're, they're ridiculous. They're ridiculous. People trying to tell other people what they can and can't ship. It's, it's like, what? Why? What is the purpose of you doing this, sending these people these rude messages because they ship a certain thing. And, like, uh, for example, um, let's go with Bill Dip, Gravity Falls. People who ship Bill Dip generally get shit on for, um, pedophilia, or, um, sadism, or, like, not satanism, sadism, like, sadist or whatever, and just unhealthy relationship in general. And I get, I get that, I'll probably be doing an analysis on Bill Dip eventually, but I see how it could be an unhealthy relationship, but th and then there's like the pedophilia factor that I don't necessarily see because I mean there there's a time and a place for when it's relevant and when Bill is trillions of years old does it really matter? I mean, people ship Bill in Stanford when the if Bill is trillions of years older than Stanford. It makes no difference. It would be pedophilia either way. Ford is usually an adult in that ship, so technically it wouldn't be pedophilia. And like, I mean, if you're just going with like age gaps, but if you really mean like minor and whatever, then no, it wouldn't be. But in general, the age difference factor isn't really a valid argument because people who age up dipper still get shit on for it when it's like they're making it so it's not underage so that it's completely legal, and it's supposed to not bring up that kind of stuff. And it's- it doesn't. It's completely, like, it winds- it winds up consensual most of the time. I've never read any that aren't conceptual, because that's not my thing. But it's mostly concept consens- it's mostly consensual, and despite the relationship having its flaws and whatever, in different fi angst fanfictions and whatever, there's- there's no other reason you could really- argue about people aging up dipper because it's like i said it's legal but yet there are people who don't like the ship that will take that ship and tear it into pieces rip apart any little piece that they can find to have against the ship and they will throw them back at you it's like breaking a mirror pulling out individual sharp pieces and chucking them at people that's what it is and it makes no sense, because you're just gonna get your own fingers- you're either gonna get your own fingers cut, or you're gonna get in- And you're gonna get into a fight with someone else who's throwing the shards back! It, which, it's- it's wrong. It's wrong. You can't- like, my main thing is you cannot tell other people what they can and cannot ship. You can have their own opinions on it, but those opinions 
aren't necessarily going to change people's view on them and trying to voice your opinions in a negative fashion are just going to get rebounded back at you. You're just going to get them all shoved right back in your face. And it's, it's like you end up just making yourself seem like an ass and just putting out, um, putting out all these negative things could really make you some enemies, which you don't want to do. So if you have a ship that you don't approve of, that you really, really don't like, follow the rule. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. That's, that's all I'm saying. Don't expect others to share your opinions, and when you share your opinions in a way that can be considered offensive or derogatory or, um, aggressive, I guess, or negative, it's not gonna go well. It's not going to go well, and these things can have serious, like, mood effects on people, like, someone could, like, completely invest themselves in writing these fanfictions and drawing this fan art because it makes them happy. It, this certain ship makes them happy, and then have someone come in be like, oh, your ship is garbage, and your ship is totally immoral and wrong because of these reasons. And that person is then made to reevaluate themselves and their love for this certain pairing to the point where they g g go back into a deeper depression. And honestly, I've, that's happened to me before. I have been dug into a deeper depression because I have seen hate on ships, not even towards me, just in general, and it makes me reevaluate the fact that I ship. And for a good week, I was depressed, I was doubting myself, I was I was reevaluating my life. Well not my life, but my decisions. And I was reevaluating this channel. I'm like, this was before I even started uploading videos, but I'm like, should I even do it? Oh my god, I'm a terrible person for shipping. Really? Really? No, I'm not a bad person for shipping. You're not a bad person for shipping. Shipping does not make you a bad person, and what you ship does not make you a bad person, because what these characters may or may not do is up to you. What you portray them doing is what you want them to do, and that is okay with you, no matter how out of character it seems. What you want them to do is what you want them to do, and just because it is a certain pairing does not mean that it is ultimately wrong. So, here's your stereotypical love, blah, 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 piece of advice for hate. Don't listen. And if you are one of the people sending out hate, reevaluate yourself. Is it really worth your time and your effort to tear these people down? To tear this one pairing down? To tear this fandom down? No, it's not worth it. Instead, why don't you go and browse the ship you love? And look at all the fan art for that. Look at all this and appreciate the ship that you ship and not tear down the ship that you don't like it's much more positive and it's got a much more um positive effect on a fandom or um a ship and it's just it makes it so much friendlier in a fandom because part of me at this point is reluctant to get into a fandom I don't want to invest myself into a fandom or into a certain pairing because of the different effects it has and because of how people can tear you down for something as simple as what you enjoy. And no one should ever tear you down for something you enjoy. It's... I'm just gonna put it out there. And society as a whole, no matter what part of society you are in, society sucks. It morphs and twists your perception and it makes everything so much worse than it really is. I mean, no one deserves to feel the way that they are feeling because some other person doesn't agree with them. Your opinions matter, but not always in the same context. Yes, your opinions are valid and your opinions matter, but when your opinions are used to tear another person down, that invalidates it. Well, not invalidates it, that it crosses a line. That is crossing a line. Here's the line, and you are crossing it. It's like, <coughs> nope, you're out. Just don't cross the line. The line is there for a reason. Because it can seriously hurt some people. Like, I, when I was going through my whole self, like, re... I was having all that self-doubt. I was feeling really, really negative and really, really close to self-harming. Because I didn't know who I was anymore. Because someone had sent me something, or I'd seen something, about something I enjoy. It hurts, and it can ruin a person. Whether it's for a short period of time, like a week it was for me, or like a day, or it could be months. It could completely warp someone's personality. It could 
like it's it's not good stop stop hating on other people for what they enjoy it is it's so wrong it's so wrong you're if and these most people who do this kind of stuff are all anti-bullying but what are you doing you're bullying another person so right at this point you're no better than a person who would shove another person up against a locker or force this person to do your homework or punch this person in the face because it can emotionally be like a punch in the face no one wants to be punched in the face so don't punch people in the face metaphorically or physically don't punch people it's something that's been really, really bothering me. This whole topic it has been bothering me for a long time. And now that I have this channel and about... F I've got 20 subscribers. I figured if I can spread my word out to anyone, that's fine with me. Because it's this is something that goes forgotten among many, many fandoms and many, many different people. But it's one of the most vital parts of a fandom is that we are a fandom we are a community we are one whole community and pulling that community apart or dividing that community you're just gonna fuck it up and that's why fandoms like doctor who serps the blah, 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 like doctor who supernatural sherlock steven universe is getting corrupt now Gravity Falls is getting corrupt now. Undertale is starting drama. And that just started. It's making people have a negative look on these types of on different things that it's not good for anyone. And I just really encourage anyone who's watching this to if you see ship hate and it's bothering you, ignore it. And if it makes you feel any better, block the person who you see it from. If you see it consistently, block that person. Get them out of your content and continue to be who you want to be. Don't let them tell you what you can and cannot do because you are you and that is all that matters. I promise. No one, no one can tell you what you can and cannot love, what you can and cannot enjoy. It's immoral, it's just plain rude, and it's not a good effect on people. It is not a good effect on anyone. So again, I encourage every single one of you to keep your chin up and enjoy everything you love while it lasts. Because, well not while it lasts, I encourage every single one of you to cherish the things you enjoy and share these things with other people, even if they don't have the same opinion. Just don't tear them down for it. Just don't tear other people down because it's not going to benefit anyone in the long run. Basically, just be a good person. I shouldn't have to tell anyone to be a good person. It should just be essential, but I guess I have to at some points, I guess. <laughs> but I guess that's that's basically all I need to say. So thank you guys so much for taking your time to watch this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, take a stab at that like button. And I hope to see all of you old or new to this channel, sometime in the future. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Bye! I don't know what the time is going to be when I'm done editing this video, but holy crap, it was 21 minutes long. Oh my god. I hope it's not this much when I edit it. <laughs>